the very first version of the logistics robot we built was a balancing robot, mm -hmm. and that's called Handle. Mm -hmm. And there's that thing was epic. Oh, it's a beautiful machine. It's an incredible machine. It's a, so it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks epic. It looks like a, out of a. Uh, I mean, out of a sci-fi movie of some sort. I mean, just can, can you actually just linger on the, like the design of that thing? Because that's another leap into something you probably haven't done. It's a different kind of balancing. Yeah. So it's let me. I, I'd love. I love talking about the history of how a handle came about, <laughs> because it connects all of our robots actually. So um, we, I'm going to start with Atlas. When we when we had Atlas getting fairly far along, um, we wanted to understand, I was telling you earlier, the challenge of the human form is that you have this mass up high. Mm -hmm. And balancing that inertia, that mass up high, is its own unique challenge. And so we started trying to get Atlas to balance standing on one foot, like on a balance beam, using its arms like this. And you know, you can do this, I'm sure. I can do this, right? Like if you're walking a tightrope, how do you do that balance? So that's sort of, you know, controlling the inertia, controlling the momentum mm -hmm. of the robot. We were starting to figure that out on Atlas. And so our first concept of handle, which was a robot that was going to be on two wheels, so it had to balance, but it was going to have a big long arm so it could reach a box at the top of a truck. And it was gonna, it needed yet another counterbalance, a big tail, to help it balance while it was using its arm. So the reason why this robot sort of looks epic, it, some people said it looked like uh, an ostrich mm -hmm. uh, or maybe yeah, an ostrich moving around, was the wheels, the le it has legs so it can extend its legs. So it's wheels on legs. We always wanted to build wheels on legs. It yeah. had a tail and it had this arm and they're all moving simultaneously yeah. and in coordination to maintain balance because we had figured out the mathematics of doing this momentum control, yeah. how to maintain that balance. And so part of the reason why we built this two-legged robot was we had figured this thing out. We wanted to see it in this kind of machine. And we thought maybe this kind of machine would be good in a warehouse. And so we built it. And it's a beautiful machine. It moves in a graceful way, like nothing else we've built, but it wasn't the right machine for a logistics application. We decided it was too slow and couldn't pick boxes fast enough, basically. Oh, and it, it would so do it beautifully with it elegance. It would do it beautifully, but, but it just wasn't efficient enough. Uh, so we let it go. Yeah. But I think we will come back to that machine mm -hmm. eventually. The fact that it's possible, the fact that you show that you could do so many things at the same time in coordination and so beautifully, there's something there. Yeah. That was a demonstration of what yeah. is possible.